In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use the track cutter. The track cutter is a cool tool which allows you to cut, edit and sample your music videos and photographs to create your own unique music and video mixes. To place media into the track cutter, either double click on the file in the media browser or simply drag and drop it into the track cutter using your mouse. You can also use the load icon placed in the top right hand corner of the track cutter. When the file is placed in the track cutter, a music file will be presented in an audio waveform and video and photos will be presented frame by frame. You can have multiple media files open in the track cutter and you can alternate between them by clicking on the respective tabs, giving you the freedom to work with multiple files at the same time. To play the file in the track cutter, Step. click play. Stop the file, click stop. And to go back to the beginning of the file, click jump to start. Step, 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 step. To move across the file, use the scroll bar at the bottom of the track cutter, or use the play position pot as shown. To take a sample out of the media file is a simple process. Go to the area in the file you wish to sample, and while holding the shift key on the keyboard, Drag the mouse across the area. The area you have sampled will now be highlighted. This process works the same for videos and photographs. To play back the highlighted area, click the play button. If you wish to hear it looped, click on the loop play button. When you highlight an area, the track cutter will automatically detect the beats in the file and attempt to create a perfect loop by snapping to the grid. You can adjust the length of the highlighted selection by going to the start or end point of the file and dragging the points back and forth. You will notice the adjust length indicators will appear. You can also move the highlighted selection to different locations within the file, creating a new sample. Simply click and hold on the selection and move it to any position you like. If you do not wish the track cutter to automatically detect loops by snapping to the grid, right click anywhere outside the highlighted selection and uncheck the snap to grid option. This will allow you to manually cut your samples without grid restrictions. If you wish to zoom in and out of the file to make the perfect cut, click on the zoom in or zoom out buttons in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. You can also change the BPM of the file by adjusting the tempo pot. If you wish to restore it back to its original BPM, click on the Restore Original Tempo icon. To change the volume of the file, simply adjust the volume slider bar. If using video and photos, you can also alter the video brightness by adjusting the video brightness slider. When you are happy with your selection, you can copy and paste it into the mixing palette. To do this, simply right click on the highlighted area and select copy. Go to the mixing palette, right click and select paste in the area of your choice. Your selection is now in the mixing palette, ready to be incorporated into your mix. If you wish to render the selection to a specific file format, Click the render icon. Name the file as you wish. Select your file format and click save.